welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. This is Boss Vision, where I share with you all beauty, fitness, hauls, and everything you need to know about making candles. In today's video, I'm so excited to share with you all step by step how to make a candle using paraffin wax. Yes, you guys, so I picked this up from my local Michaels. I usually use coconut apricot cream from the Wooden Wick Co. If you haven't seen my Wooden Wick Wax Discovery Kit video, I would say just click this link right here. It'll take you straight to it. In that video, I did a discovery of the coconut apricot cream, the virgin coconut soy, and the beeswax cream. Check out that video to see how it went. I decided to investigate this paraffin wax, you guys. So I've used almost every wax you could think of. I'm teaching you guys today, step by step, how to make paraffin candles let's just jump right into it if you do like videos like this please make sure you give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe so you don't miss out anything else all right guys so here is everything that you will need starting left to right you're gonna need a pouring pitcher super important i use this from wooden wick co i'll link it down below you also need a thermometer a rectangular spatula super important for chopping up the wax as well as stirring the the wax when it's warm you're gonna need a hot glue gun to adhere the wicks. The paraffin wax, you guys, this is super fun. A vessel, I'm using a Libby jar. I'll link it down below. I'm using a wick holder here, but you can totally use just some clothespins and skewers. I'm using HPSPs, because these work really well with paraffin. And these are the HPSP size 51. I hope you guys can see that. Camera plays games. Yep, size 51. You also need some gloves so that this is a sanitary situation. And then this here is an oven mitt that I put my pouring pitcher on, just like that, after I take it off of the heat. <laughs> You're gonna need some fragrance oil. We're gonna be using citrus and sage from Aztec Candle Supply. I'll link this down below as well. Guys, you have to have a candle scale. It has to be precise, okay? This is chemistry, bro. So I'm using a candle scale that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'll link it down below as well. Great deal. You know they're always 40% off. And you know, I just grabbed some napkins for cleanup. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is glue down the wicks. I'm double wicking it. As you can see, I have a double wick holder. So I just use a hot glue gun and I just wait about two minutes for that to heat up. This part is so relaxing. It's like, yes, let's just go. All right, so. turned the scale to the side so you could see the numbers as you can see it's all zeroed out right now to zero it out you just press the you just lightly press the on button here's our wax on some good old parchment paper so I'm just gonna see if I can chop that down a little bit break it there we go <laughs> so let's see how much this is okay so each slab is 5.26 so let's see if we can cut one in half That'll be interesting. This wax is intense, bro. Wow. Like, I can't really. You're not finna run me. This is, this is hard to cut. There we go, all right there. Boom, so that is the nine ounces of wax that we needed. Okay guys, so we are just gonna get uh, 0.9 ounces of fragrance oil. There we go, okay, 0.95 is fine. 
with paraffin. It's okay if it goes a little bit over. All right, now we're just gonna move on to melting the wax. I have a boil. I'm just gonna go ahead and add this wax to the water and give you guys a really satisfying time lapse. It's actually on my bucket list of things I've always wanted to do, so yeah, pray your hands that it goes well. All right, y'all. So we're back at it again with the back at it again. We're at 185. So I can take this opportunity to add in something random, a color square. I got these from Hobby Lobby. They're really great. So I just want to throw one in there while we're waiting for that temperature to get down. So this is paraffin. So you do have to wait for the temperature to get a little bit lower before you pour. And when I tell you these chips are strong, they are super strong. So, less is more. Seriously. This is all the chip we're gonna do. <laughs> all right. So it's in there. I wish you could see this color, but you'll see it when I pour. Now we're just gonna add in that fragrance oil. It looks so red in like real life, but I can't wait till it's pour and you can see what I see. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Hey guys, we're back. Here's the final product. I smoothed it out a lot. Uh, you can see it's the candle. Um, wicks are kind of popping up, but that's not bad at all. Comment down below what you guys think of my paraffin wax candle. And if you did like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else that I post. All right, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, your week, your weekend. Just live in your purpose and love life. Okay, bye.